Oh, the rays of light are just coming down. So this is the fourth time that I've come out this week to try and do a vlog and get some photos really, just, just go on a photo trip and I have been totally uninspired. Now I'm a one for always saying just go out wherever the weather but it's been fairly rubbish the last few days, dull and no contrast or anything but today even though it's super windy I think I've got a chance of getting something pretty good. So I've come out, it's actually midday at the moment and I'm probably going to come back to this location at sunset and I'm going to see what I can get. Hopefully the sun, which is just up there, is going to come out and hopefully you can hear me because of the wind and light up the land. And on days like this, it can be quite incredible. So I'm really quite looking forward to it and hopefully I can get something. and it's not too windy is I'm waiting for the light to come onto the land over there and apart from the wind blowing me a lot then as the light lands on the hills it's going to create some really dramatic conditions and it's just a case of being patient getting protected from this amazing wind in fact just over there behind me get my camera out get my my phone out I'll show you the lights coming I think it's gonna come here as well so the light is coming from over here I'm gonna get my camera out and show you this oh it's amazing so what I need to do is move my camera and point over here because this is absolutely stunning if you just look just behind me there so I'm gonna zoom right in on that the dark clouds just create this dramatic contrast. It is so stunning, so stunning. Okay, I'm going to go back in here and record all that again because you probably haven't heard a word I've said. Right, well, I've just sheltered in these rocks here. It's so windy and it's, the rain's just come down. But you can just see over there, just over my shoulder, hopefully, if I just move it that way a bit, you can see, I think there's a clearing. And actually, if the sun comes out down there, it's just going to be absolutely fantastic. But it's so windy. So windy. So I've just got to really hope that um, the wind stops. And the clouds are moving so quickly, so I think it's a chance. I don't know, if, if the rain comes down, keeping my camera and lens dry is going to be so hard. Perseverance, that's what I've got to do. Keep going. Come on, you can do it. raining now my tripod's blowing over what I'm trying to do is pick out the sun as it comes before the rain gets here and try and get some of this amazing light on the land so you can see it's just turning can you see over there the lights just getting on um, Stanage Edge over there and it looks absolutely fantastic so I've got my camera set up here I'm gonna grab bloody hell it's windy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that shot I've got it a high ISO, so I've got it set. So I'll do, do it this way around so you can hear me. So I've got it set on a high ISO and uh, about f6.3. So I've got a shutter speed of actually of 400th of a second. So as the rain's coming through, it just looks absolutely amazing. Just doesn't get any better than this. Wow, we. Here we go.
at this now. Look at the sun now. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, the rays of light are just coming down. Absolutely amazing. The clouds as well are just stunning. Stunning formations. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, so glad I came out. That was so windy. I have ever, ever done any photography in that much wind. Oh, and here comes the rain. It's definitely time for lunch now. Okay, lunch has been had. I have an extra coat on, which is bloody freezing. I'm gonna try again. So, going back to the same spot to hopefully get sunset. It's, I think it's windier, it's windier. It's windy, but it puts pretty good over there, look. Look at that. Woohoo! Whoa, can't stand up. So, go back up, see what I can get. It's gonna be brief this, brief. Okay, so the light's just coming out over there. I think, I think it's gonna drop below the cloud. But whilst it's doing that, just over there, on that other ridge over there, it's just lighting up the um, hills in the background and then it's created a silhouette just over the top of that ridge which looks really really good so I've got my camera pointing this way at the moment because the wind and the rain are coming in this direction I've just got a shot of that I'll show it now and it's really good I'm really pleased with it I just wish the rain had stopped it makes it so difficult I mean there's just so much great stuff if I just go over here just on the top there of the ridge over there, there's just fantastic clouds. It really does look spectacular. So I've got my little hideout again, which is pretty good if you can look. And I'm just waiting for another squall to go past. Now I'm going to dart out over there and hopefully get some of that lovely sky. So after that final scene, I got so soaking wet. All my camera gear got soaking wet and I decided to call it a day. So I didn't do an outro um, and, and say, thanks for watching. And since I've looked at the video now and edited the video and looked at some of the photos, it, I just wanted to reflect on it a little bit because it just shows just how important it is, no matter what the weather is, and I've said this in other videos, to get out and take some photos because it's often the case that you get the best light and the best conditions in the worst weather. If you go out on a blue sunny day, um, you, you're unlikely to get fantastic conditions or dramatic light. And one of the most important ingredients in getting stunning photographs of landscape photography is light. So I was lucky, this last image that I got was um, something that I, 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 yeah, I think is is very close to being um, a portfolio level image of mine. I, I really, really like the layers of the image. I like the little road at the bottom leading, leading in. And to, to think that I got this image when the conditions were probably at the worst was, was something that, that, you know, warranted going out on that day. So yeah, just get out, 
go and go and take some photos whatever the conditions and and you won't regret it i just want to say as well i've got one place left on my lake district workshop on the 5th of january so if you want to book on it then i'd recommend that you you, you do that as soon as possible because i'm sure that place will go fairly quickly i'm also doing one-to-one -one workshops as well and again places for that are, are, are booking up into july so if you want to get um, on a one-to-one -one workshop with me and it'd be great to, to meet you guys then then please book below and once again thanks ever so much for watching and until next week i'll see you next time <music>